It's Monday, August 26, 2013. Let's talk about what happened this weekend over at xdadevelopers.com. First up, in a bit of interesting news, the Nexus images for Android 4.3 have been updated over on the Google site. There's been a lot of up and down, back and forth with regard to these Nexus images, specifically the ones related to the Nexus 7 2013 edition. Looks like the grand majority of that has been sorted at this point, and like I said, updates have been posted to all of them. For the grand majority of them, meaning the Nexus 4, the Nexus 10, the previous model Nexus 7, and the GSM-based Galaxy Nexus, they were just sort of minor updates, security, camera-related, NFC-related, minor semi-minor things. But according to the article for the 2013 Nexus 7, there have been some decent changes, specifically the GPS and multi-touch issues that a lot of users were having problems out of should be taken care of at this point. So if you are having problems with your GPS or multi-touch tweaking out a little bit and being kind of weird, you may want to check after this update gets pushed out, or you will probably just go over, pick it up, and flash it yourself, and yeah, let us know what happens. The other really interesting thing about all these updates Android 4.3 binaries have been made available for the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. So you can see me just rushing on over there to try to pick them up immediately. No, I'm I'm on CyanogenMod still. I'm, I'm good to go for now. Thanks. But if you want to know more about it, XDA recognized contributor SF Hub has created a thread with all of the sort of information about it and links to everything. I'll link to the portal post, which will have a link to that thread in it so you can find some more information. Moving right along, one of the things that really interests me about the XDA community, one of the things I find interesting about it is giving life to old hardware again, or at least older hardware. So that's why when I saw a story pop up about the HTC Pico, Pico, I really don't care -o, I definitely had to make it a point to talk about it. Now this device, not terribly old, realistically speaking, it's about two years old at this point, came out in 2011. But when a couple of XDA recognized contributors, John Carter and Nick Halden got together and took the work of another recognized contributor, Galaxy Freak, they made it work so that you can dual boot ROMs on it now. Now for the time being, CyanogenMod 6 is the only ROM that could be installed as a primary ROM, but the secondary ROM can be anything that doesn't use SD EXT partition, so like CM9, CM10, stock firmware, so you can go back and forth between them testing different things and still have one good one to fall back on if all goes wrong. And just looking at the comments on the article itself, it appears there's still a pretty decent community behind the HTC Pico. I'm going to keep calling it Pico. So if you are one of those people that has one of those devices out there, definitely go ahead and check this out if you're interested in dual booting ROMs on it. And moving right along. One of the interesting things I saw at XDA DevCon was several of the Team Win Recovery Project members were there. So when I saw this next story pop up, I definitely had to talk about it because XDA recognized developer Dees Troy, the head of the Team Win Recovery Project, created a thread that is effectively a porting guide, a how-to guide for bringing twerp to your device. From the article itself, it seems like it's not going to be a terribly difficult process, but it's also not one that's horribly simple. It's kind of in the middle of the road there. so. It's something that you can probably handle, but you might want to just be prepared for a little bit of legwork. And also this weekend I saw two stories hit the portal that were very interesting to me because they involved all-in-one kind of toolkits. The first one was a multi-purpose toolkit for the Oppo Find 5, or Oppo Find 5 as I think several people have corrected me. XDA recognized developer Benjamin J. Goodwin put this together, and effectively it does some very simple, straightforward things. It can reboot the device, go back into recovery, reboot the bootloader, allow you to flash a recovery or flash an image to it, and you can just wipe the cache. So a lot of the things you could do with ADB and with Fastboot you can now do through a GUI. It's not something that's really going to blow your socks off or anything, but if it's something that you're going to be doing quite frequently, this GUI tool may make it a little easier for Windows. And there was also an all-in-one toolkit for the HTC One posted this weekend. This was done by XDA senior member Squabby, and it's got a lot of different functionality. It helps you do a load of different things like installing the drivers to make you actually be able to connect to the device through Windows. You can use it to assist you in getting the device unlocked. And of course, you can flash custom recoveries, images, you can change the SID, all sorts of different things. Lots and lots of stuff. Make sure to check out the portal post for the details on both of those multi-tools, all-in-one tools. And to quickly wrap things up, two other videos were posted to XDA Developer TV this weekend by Jace. In the first one, he talks about how to choose your killer app idea. So essentially, don't say, I'm going to create an app that's a music player because I've never heard of a music player. But instead, find something that's completely unique or something that fits a niche that's not really been fulfilled entirely yet. And his second video was talking about the smart way to price your apps. So you're not going to drive yourself to bankruptcy, but you're also not going to be charging so much that nobody's interested in your app, nobody buys it. So very good development related information there. But anyway, that's going to be about all from me for today. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to receive our content as soon as it becomes available. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again on Friday.